Hey guys, Stita Rose here, and welcome back to another episode from the world of Odium. We are here for our last time in Talonwood. Well, for our last video where Talonwood is the major feature. And I wanted to give you a walkthrough and show you some of the other cool things that have been going on in this province. Um, we spent a lot of time up in my trees, so we probably won't hardly talk about those, but I did want to walk you through this province and show you the other cool builds and what other people have been doing. So let's get on that. And I think what we'll do is we will start coming right out this path and head up this way. So this first build that I'm going to show you is one done by Crafting Mantis. Um, Crafting Mantis has been working on another tree village type area, a tree city like we have. Uh, hers is different. Um, where we focused on, you know, building these big trees and, and just kind of making homes, hers is focused more on the magic of the province. So showing that these tree dwellers are magical people and she wanted to embrace that. And so each of her trees has a different theme. Um, this this tree, as you can see by the, the hanging colors, this is the yellow tree. And so everything in this yellow tree is decorated with yellow. Um, I think if we come up here to, is it this one? Yep. Yeah. So we have this nice little living area, bookshelves, benches, uh, the yellow carpets, beds. All of these are yellow. And yeah, <laughs> how many more times can I say that it's yellow? <laughs> anyway, but if you come up here to the very top of her tree, in this yellow tree, she has like this magic coming up from inside of the tree and just rising up out of the tree. And I think it looks really cool. I love the way it spirals around. Um, it just adds a really cool effect. So yeah especially at night i mean it looks really neat at night her whole her whole area looks neat at night because each of these trees like i said has a different color theme and she has magic associated with each of the color themes so if we come over here to the cyan and as you can see again this one's decorated all in one color and come up here to her magical area I think this one is is by far my favorite um, but yeah if we come over here we can see whoop, let's not let's not spoil the orange side we can see this crystal and I just love the way that she has the cyan crystal here with the the beam shooting up and out of it I think that looks really cool what a what a great uh, magical build so if we turn this way you can see the, uh, the other glass panes rising up. And if we turn it a little bit more, you can see the third, the third magical thing. Now this is a, I think she called it a fire crystal. So let's head over to the orange side so we can see more what that is about. I love Mantis's bills here. Just turned out really, really cool. Come on up here take a look at this uh, this fire crystal because oh speaking of fire we'll talk about that in a moment um, come up here to this fire crystal and look I mean this is so cool she's got the smoldering logs the fire on the uh, branches I uh, think that maybe building a fire crystal in the trees wasn't such a brilliant idea but that's okay um, these tree dwellers perhaps they know magic to help them not lose the entire forest um, speaking of fire and I think I'll talk about this over here because it's gonna be hard to see in a few moments this is brownies area and uh, he's another one that built a whole tree city and uh, we'll take a look at that in a little bit but uh, from here you can see that part of his tree is burning and that's because according to the lore that he's come up with this is a lightning strike now I don't know if maybe the fire crystal caused the lightning strike that could have been a cool thing uh, but yeah his tree is partially on fire he's used um, let's see if we can zoom in yeah he's used charcoal to 
to kind of give it a burnt feeling. I think it looks really, really cool. All right, another build that we can see from here and I think it's a good angle for is this, this farm tree right over here. So this is a build done by Copper Cable. And uh, as you can see, at the top of the tree is a reservoir of water. And this reservoir feeds the stream that runs down through all of the platforms where the crops are growing. And I think it's really cool how it just kind of swings around the platforms, comes down all the way to the bottom and drops into a little lake below. And I think that looks really, really cool. All right, let's 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 continue on our tour. And I think what we'll do, so this is the, the path that we walked up to get up here. And then it swings down and around to Brownie's area. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glide down to Brownie's area and we can look at what he's been doing. So let's take a little jump and a glide. All right, Brownie, like uh, Mantis and I, has built, built a tree city. Now his is, his looks different than both of ours, really. I mean, there's similarities. We we all use the the fence posts and the um, yeah chiseled stone, but his is also different. Uh, his trees are much more sprawling, and love the branches that he's built on this. Great detail here. Good job. I, I love it. Uh, one other thing that I love about Brownie's build is this um, custom lake that he's created with the waterfalls coming down and under the bridge and just adds a lot of really nice atmosphere. We continue up here. Um, so that's the way back to the portal. We continue up here, we are gonna come to the big tree. Um, and I think we'll save that. No, we'll go, we'll go to this first. Uh, the big tree. Uh, this big tree has been in our videos a lot. Um, just on the outside of things because yeah we built right next to it so you can see there's there's our trees just right out here and this is the big tree now the big tree is quite amazing you can go all the way up to the top with the the spiral staircase on the outside but the inside is really what I wanted to show you um, it's just beautiful in here spiral staircase all the way up to the top inside Lots of fun details. This build, I believe, was done by Protosvault, Kasseri, and uh, Night 13. Um, I don't think I missed any with that, but I could have. Uh, they tend to be building at times when I'm not on, so I could be missing someone. But I, this is a really cool place for immersion. Um, lots of things to see. Lots of stuff to look at. Uh, come down here. Just some really fun, fun details. Um, yeah, just some great stuff. And it looks like maybe they didn't get the whole area as finished as they would like, but it's a big project. Uh, they've been working extremely hard to to work on this and to get it done um, a storage area lots of cool things so I encourage you to to check out their channels see what else there is to see um, I love just walking around in here because it is so cool I mean I can't do this <laughs> um, I I yeah this this is a very cool style that if I had tried to do this, it would not have turned out this way. I, I really I have a lot of a lot of respect for the way that they are able to landscape and, and make these organic builds. Um, I'm not so good with that. And then here's a little a very cool little ritual type chamber with this overgrown tree. Very, very cool stuff. We could probably spend a whole episode just exploring this tree, but I don't think that we have the time for that. So let's head out. This is not the way out. <laughs> I'm lost. Oh no. Uh, let's head out here. 
and um, let's continue on our journey. And I'm wishing that I had a bed in my under chest, but I don't because I've already been over to the new area and I have put my bed down. Okay, so we will just be, speaking of diligent, Okay, um, I think we will run to our tree and head up and sleep in one of the beds. Run! Run away! I just don't want to explode anything. Um, it would be a terrible, a terrible tragedy to, to destroy some of the builds here. <laughs> Creepers are nasty things and they do have a tendency to blow up on me when I'm wandering around and I don't want that to happen okay spirally staircase goodness sorry for the dizziness there we will head over here and take a sleep I'm really glad that we uh, we've been able to do so much on this province and it's fun to see it all come together and be finished Okay, let's head back, back over to where we were on the path. Okay, so the path, it continues past the big tree and heads out in this direction. Um, I think we'll take a pit stop over here and check out some of the things that Wallace has been building. So Wallace built these uh, boar pens, basically, and we've got the wild boars. Well, there's a couple of these. They're kind of playing in the mud. It's kind of a cool, cool look. And if we come up over this hill, we can see the rest of his area. So yeah. Okay, so here we are in his area, and he did a whole like ground dwellers, um, charcoal, I think it was like a charcoal burners area. So here he's got his charcoal burning things, making charcoal, and, and I believe this is the charcoal burners guild. So yeah, this, this is something that he finished just before I joined the server, and uh, I think it's really cool. Each of these are named with people who are currently working on the server. Um, my name's not there, but like I said, he had finished this just before I joined, so that makes sense that it's not there. And, uh, oh, there's more to show you here. So this comes down to kind of a secret area. We, we open this up and come down here. It comes down to his war room. Um, according to the lore, Talonwood and Enderwood Hollow are at war. This kind of just overshadows a ravine. Very cool. Uh, they're at war um, because Enderwood Hollow is deforesting the, well, Talonwood basically. And so it's caused great a great rift between the, the communities. And so he's got a war room. Now this is, this would be Salem. Here is a map of Talonwood. So right up here is the big tree. These would be our smaller trees. This is the area we're in right now. Um, we will go and view these other areas in just a little bit. And then we have a, a map here of Enderwood Hollow. So this was the first province that they worked on as a group. And uh, I think the war room looks really cool, really well done. And uh, yeah, so if we come out here, back up to the top, and head back out. I almost set myself on fire there. I don't know if you noticed. Um, made a watchtower. And I think we are now right beside Nerd's Tree 
Yes. Yes, we're right beside Nerd's tree area. So here we have uh, the tree of life. Now, if you remember, um, this is where this is where they summoned me as a uh, member of the community. It was a fun fun time together to to do a build. But Nerd has been working on this area some more. So his uh, his tree of life has has changed. Uh, we now have this walkway which is really cool it's a bit loud here with the oh nerd we're out of arrows and some of your arrows are missing nerd um yeah they built this altar so this was about the spot where i fell down right into the center of things and uh built this altar here are the robes remember they were all wearing these robes very cool stuff very, very cool, and I do love the particle effects of the arrows. Nicely done. Get over the top of this without falling down. Because huh. that would have been fun. Um, and I believe last time we started off the episode up in that tree uh, because there's a nice uh, flight path. Flight, flight, <laughs> flight platform. To uh, jump off there but I do like the way that this looks um, this is where I got the inspiration for using the the fences underneath of my uh, and of course I talked about how this build also inspired me with the trailing leaves all right so I think the next place to go would to be would be to glide back over to the path uh, let me grab uh, a rocket just in case I can't glide. Yeah, oh, no. whoa, too fast, too fast. Okay, here's the path. Very good. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we are going to visit um, Desert Rats build. I believe that's right over here. Yes. So Desert Rat did this really cool hot springs area. Um, we have a geyser here. It turned out really nice. Um, very nice. Got some mineral deposits, uh, a mineral spring. And we have these natural hot springs. Now these are really, oh, did you see that? These are really cool. Yeah, that is so cool because the the blocks, the magma blocks there will every once in a while cause the the water above it to evaporate and then it refills and it, it causes this like hissing sound and it is so cool. It's such a cool effect. And uh, yeah, anyway, I love that. I wanted to show that to you. And another thing that's really cool is he built a sweat lodge. So here in this mound is a sweat lodge. And I think this looks really cool as well. Um, very nicely done, love it. All right, we are coming down to some of the last builds here that I wanted to show you. And I believe if we travel back up, back up the path that we just came down, I think is over over here yes we travel back up this path we can come over to the next area that I wanted to show you so we come through here another custom tree I believe this one was done by nerd as well um, and it brings us down here to the docks now this was done by night 13 and I love the idea of using hot air balloons to bring goods from a dock up to the trees. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. It's a really cool idea. Um, this bridge here is very nice as well. So this is, yeah, this is the docks area. Jump down here. Um, we've got this Oh, like <laughs> uh, yeah we've got we've got this 
crane it here with the bucket to counterbalance. Uh, we've got a ship unloading some goods. Built this bridge over top. I, I think this looks really cool. And uh, and of course there's also the, the hot air balloon which really looks nice. And his little carts and things. And I think guys, that is about it. I'm sure that there are other are other little secret things that I missed. Um, but I think that's about it for our province here. Don't forget to check out the channels of the other folks on Odium. Uh, their links are in the description below. And I believe that I will see you next time in our brand new province, which has a very, very cool idea and theme. So I will see you in the next episode.